Hello everyone, welcome to Botany Insider. So in this lecture, we'll be discussing about the second part for the enzymes topic. In the first part, we discussed about the enzymes kya hote hain aur unki basic properties kya hoti hai. In this lecture, mein, we'll be discussing about that what is the mechanism of action for the enzymes. So let's understand about the mechanism now. So an enzyme attracts its substrate by the active site which catalyzes the chemical reaction by which the products are formed. And then the products that are formed they are allowed to be dissociated and they get separated from the enzyme surfaces that is consider we have this particular enzyme so this is the enzyme that we have and we have an active site being present on the enzyme see we have discussed kar chuke hai ki active site hoti kya hai so is active site ke upar substrate aake bind karega bind karne ke baad enzyme ko substrate ko attach karane ke liye there occurs a slight change in the active site so that wo achhe se wahan par accommodate kar jaye so after the accommodation the substrate gets converted into the product and then there occurs the release of the product and in addition to that we have the all the products being left out so initially we have the substrate entering the site of the enzyme that is the which is the active site then there occurs the formation of a enzyme substrate complex then the the enzyme product complex is formed at that plate itself substrate product may convert hoga aur uske baad product would leave the active site of the enzyme and now this enzyme is free for the next substrate conversion so this is the complete simple mechanism of the enzyme so as we have just studied एंजाइम पहले अटैच करेगा अपने सबस्ट्रेट को अपनी एक्टिव साइट के ऊपर एंड देन इट कैटेलाइज द केमिकल रिएक्शन बाय विच द प्रोडक्ट्स आर फॉर्म एंड देन दीज प्रोडक्ट्स आर अलाउड टू गेट डिसोसिएटेड फ्रॉम द एंजाइम सर्फेस द प्रोडक्ट्स दैट आर डिसोसिएटेड फ्रॉम द एंजाइम सर्फेस लीड्स टू द रिलीज ऑफ द एंजाइम बी सेट फ्री फॉर द नेक्स्ट राउंड ऑफ द कैटेलिस Enzymes are the biological catalyst that catalyze the biochemical reaction during the metabolism but itself remain unaffected during the process of catalysis that is jo ye enzyme hai initially or after the formation of the product also ye aisa hi rahega iske andar koi change nahi aayega it remains as it is so it remains unaffected during the process of catalysis the enzyme accelerates the rate of the biochemical reaction by decreasing the energy of activation now we have to understand about this particular thing so let's understand this by the help of this particular graph this is very important ye iski basic understanding bahut important hai so agar if we plot out a graph and in this on the y axis we plot the energy that is used and on the x axis we plot the reaction coordinates so initially let's consider we have the reactants as the carbon dioxide and it is reacted with the water so these are the reactants being present agar hamara enzyme nahi present hoga to these reactants would require a large number of activation energy so that this reactant these two reactant gets converted into the product but if the enzyme is present the enzyme what it does is it leads to the decrease in the activation energy for this complete mechanism agar enzyme absent hoga to activation energy zyada use hogi and as a result hamari energy ka zyada usage hoga and as a result after that we have the energy being released and the products being formed that is h2co3 but if we use the enzyme in the second case we are using the enzyme and in this the activation energy is less as you can see only this much activation energy is being required or it is being used up but the same amount of energy is being released as a result of this complete reaction and leading to the formation of h2co3 so we can see jo enzyme hota hai wo activation energy ko lower down karke hamare जो पूरा मकैनिज्म होता है उसको फास्ट कैटेलाइज करता है सो दैट देर अकर्स अ स्पीडिंग प्रोसेस और दिस कंप्लीट प्रोसेस अकर इन अ मच फास्टर रेट 
in the presence of enzyme this was about the mechanism of action this is very simple all you have to remember is that what is activation energy activation energy in very simple word means the energy that is required to initiate the reaction if it is without the enzymes the activation energy would be more and hence more time would be taken for the initiation of the reaction and for the overall process but if the enzyme is present in that case there would be less energy required or the activation energy would be lowered in the presence of the enzyme and as a result the function or this complete process would occur at a much faster rate so this was about the mechanism of action we have just learnt about the same thing that the enzyme accelerate the rate of the biochemical reaction by decreasing the activation energy activation energy ko ea se represent karte hain and there occurs a decrease in the activation energy this was about the mechanism so in the other form you can see we have initially the reactants let's consider them as a plus bx and then so agar enzyme absence hai that is it is uncatalyzed reaction to activation energy zyada use ho rahi hai but if the enzyme is being present there is less of activation energy used and as a result we have the products being formed so this was about it so now let's understand about the properties of the enzyme so there are various properties of enzyme the first one is they speed up the chemical reactions ye bhi humne discuss kiya they are required in very minute amounts that is bahut kam amount chahiye hota hai hame inka they are very specific in their action that is a particular enzyme would be functioning with a specific substrate only we have discussed about the nomenclature of the enzymes jisme humne classes ke bare mein bhi discuss kiya tha where we studied about the six different classes in the first part i'll put the links of the part 1 also in the description box first learn about the first part and then switch over to this part they are affected by temperature yes if there occurs a increase or a decrease in the temperature in which the enzyme is functioning there occurs a change in the functioning of the enzyme also in addition to temperature the ph is also affecting their properties they catalyze the reversible reactions that is if we have some of the enzymes looked upon so some of them catalyze a reversible reaction that is the reactants can convert into products and also the products could be converted or could be broken down back to the reactants so these are the reactions which are known as reversible reactions some of them require the coenzymes and they are also inhibited by the inhibitors we'll understand about the inhibition of the enzymes in a separate video in detail so wait for that part Let's talk about the models for mechanism. So there are two main models for understanding about the mechanism of the enzyme action. The first one is the lock and key model and the second one is the induced fit model. The name itself suggests lock and key. When we have a lock and a key being present, वो एक दूसरे में fit होंगे और हमारा function perform हो जाएगा Induced fit के अंदर there occurs some changes जिसकी वजह से process होगा Let's understand about each one of them. The first one is the lock and key model. So इसके अंदर the enzyme substrate interaction suggests that the enzyme and the substrate they possesses specific complementary geometric shape that that are that exactly fit with one another this was postulated by emil fischer in 1894 that shows a very high specificity for the enzymes so you can see we have a key and a lock in that sense itself hamara substrate or active site hogi jo exactly ek dusre ko fit in karenge wo ek lock in ki model hota hai initially we have the substrate and the enzyme as compared with the key and the lock and when the key is inserted into the lock there occurs a key and lock complex in the same manner initially we have the substrate and the enzyme or substrate enzyme ki active site ke upar aake bind karega and there occurs the formation of the enzyme substrate complex this was about the lock and key model other way round is if we have the substrate a and substrate b substrate a completely fit in hota hai enzyme ki active site se so there occurs a binding of the first substrate but second substrate bind nahi karega b substrate won't bind to it why because of the difference between the shape of the active site of the enzyme and also of the substrate that we have this was about the lock and key model 
the second one is about the induced fit hypothesis so this was the hypothesis that was suggested by daniel coswold in 1958 so this is a model for the enzyme substrate interaction same it describes that only the proper substrate is capable of inducing the proper alignment of the active site that will enable the enzyme to perform its catalytic function that is it says ki jo specific substrate hoga wo hi enzyme ko induce karega taki uski active site properly align ho sake as you can see in this particular picture initially we have the substrate and the enzyme ye uski active site thi is position mein ya is particular shape mein but when the substrate agar wo substrate is particular enzyme ke liye specific hai that is both of them are compatible with each other there occurs a induction for the alignment of the enzymes and after the alignment jab enzyme apni active site ko apne सबस्ट्रेट के अकॉर्डिंग अपने कंपैटिबल सबस्ट्रेट के अकॉर्डिंग एडजस्ट हो जाएगा देर अकर्स अ इंडक्शन एंड एज अ रिजल्ट देर अकर्स अ एंजाइम सबस्ट्रेट फॉर्मेशन और अ एंजाइम सबस्ट्रेट कॉम्प्लेक्स फॉर्मेशन उसके बाद सबस्ट्रेट प्रोडक्ट्स में कन्वर्ट होगा एंड द प्रोडक्ट्स वुड बी रिलीज आउट इंड्यूज फिट और लॉक एंड की मॉडल में सिर्फ ये डिफरेंस है लॉक एंड की मॉडल बोलता है एक्टिव साइट पहले से उसी पोजीशन में होगी और इंड्यूस्ड फिट बोलता है कि बिकॉज सबस्ट्रेट एंड द एंजाइम आर कैपेबल ऑफ इंटरैक्टिंग विद ईच अदर या फिर सबस्ट्रेट स्पेसिफिक है इसी एंजाइम के लिए तो उसकी वजह से देर अकर्स अ induction there occurs a change this is what it is written here that it describes that only the proper substrate that is capable of inducing the proper alignment of the active site that would enable the enzyme to perform its function so this was about the induced fit so as you can see in the figure जो लॉक इन की मॉडल था वो अर्ली थ्योरी थी और एंजाइम सबस्ट्रेट की एक स्पेसिफिक शेप होती है जो एग्जैक्टली exactly फिट इन करती है ये लॉक इन की मॉडल कहता है इंड्यूस फिट मॉडल कहता है कि एक्टिव साइट्स आर चेंज्ड अकॉर्डिंग टू द स्पेसिफिक सबस्ट्रेट एंड इट आल्सो सजेस्ट दैट द एंजाइम आर फ्लेक्सिबल स्ट्रक्चर एंड ऑल्सो द इंड्यूस फिट मॉडल इज अ बेटर एंड अ वाइडली एक्सेप्टेड थ्योरी इन कंपेरिजन टू द लॉक एंड की मॉडल जो सेकेंड थ्योरी है वो ज्यादा एक्सेप्टेड है सो दिस वॉज अबाउट द कम्प्लीट टॉपिक फॉर द मैकेजम ऑफ एक्शन ऑफ द एंजाइम्स इंक्लूडिंग इट्स थ्योरीज सो आई होप दिस वीडियो वॉज हेल्पफुल फॉर यू एंड इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो प्लीज डू लाइक शेयर इट विद योर फ्रेंड्स प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल आई बी कमिंग अप वेरी सून विद द फर्दर पार्ट ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर सेगमेंट एंड ऑल द अदर लेक्चर्स एज वेल सो थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग एंड आई See you soon. Bye.